good day and I'll tell you why because I'm in a 991 Gen 2 GT3 Club Sport and you might be asking why am I reviewing a car that's four or five years old now? Well because I feel it's in what I call the Goldilocks zone now of Porsche ownership and purchase in terms of price point, where the market's going, the, you know, the delays we've got with the new models for supply and demand and as well as that the cost increase of the older models. So if you're looking at getting on the GT3 ladder this is a little video for you. <laughs> what a car. <laughs> is always a little bit sweeter. So I'll make a quick walk around because I know you want to see me out in the car and giving it a good drive. I'll start off with the main differences between the Gen 1 and the Gen 2 when it comes to GT3 Club Sport on the 991 models. First of all, front bumper. It's a lot more aggressive on the Gen 2 and they've redesigned under trays all the way through the back into the rear apron in here combined with a rear wing that's 20 millimetres higher now. So it's a bit higher, so it's a little bit further back, and that is a combination all put together, it's giving you 20% more downforce. Now you're probably not going to notice it on normal driving, but if you're pushing the track, it will help you. I can't think of a better wheel combo out of factory than probably the GT3. That with the center lock wheels, and you can get these in a different variation of colors, but in the silver, it sets off really nice with crayon gray which is my next point. Porsche and their colour schemes in the last few years have been epic. Actually, all the way back, even to the 993 Porsches, they've always had beautiful colours. That is a factory upgrade option. If you want to go for crayon grey, you pay a little bit more money, it's definitely worth doing. As well as that, RMA PPS added in this car already. We normally retail that for around 14,000 dirhams, so that's a full PPF protection from Profile with a 10-year warranty. And I mean, just look at it. I'll stop speaking. Take a minute to take it in. It's absolutely beautiful. It's breathtaking. We all know a 911. It's an icon. You know, it's, its name has been synonymous with sports cars for generations now. But the GT3 is the icing on top of the cake for me. It's just something a little bit special. It's like a surgeon's scalpel. It's just pinpoint precision, everything flows, and it's built for the thrill seeker. Now the difference between this and an RS, RS is definitely more track focused, but again the GT3 isn't that far away from it as it is in the club sport pack. It's the perfect compromise. You know, if you still want to enjoy the weekend, you still want to drive it hard, and you want to take it to the track, this is still a great combo for you. So let's get it set up the way I like to drive it. Into manual mode, PDK Sport on, damper control in the sports, and then we're going to go for the sports exhaust. Drop it down. That's the noise we need. God, I love it. It's intoxicating. Nothing compares to a GT3. No matter what you do in life, make sure you get a GT3 Club Sport or get the experience to drive on at least. So jumping into the engine in the 991 Gen 2 GT3, that's got the 4 litre flat 6 engine. On the Gen 1s, they originally came with the 3.8, they had a couple of issues I'll tell you about later, but the main thing was when people, and especially the enthusiasts of Porsche, moved away from the 997 generation, they were up in arms and, you know, there was a little bit of controversy because it was the first move away from the Mesger engine and no manual transmission. The Mesger, yeah, amazing. It's a masterpiece and it's synonymous with motorsport, but Porsche had taken that engine as far as they could at this point. So, after a short drive in this, you quickly see that the technological jump forward is just phenomenal. It's got a much more broader usage now. You know, the powertrain and the way the car performs, 
it just feels more user friendly. You can use it in more situations and it's a lot more forgiving to the general driving experience. So on the Gen 1, when they launched the 3.8, Always be sure to double check the history in these cars. If you're definitely want to go for one of them, they're still an amazing option, but the 3.8s did have a few engine issues, so it's always good to look at has had its engine replacement, had it had an engine recall, because it was common for engine failures, which were remedied and under warranty from Porsche. But moving forward into the Gen 2, the 4 litres launched, all those issues were fixed, and they're coming out of the box 493 brake horsepower, 0 to 100 times of 3.4 seconds when it's mated with the PDK transmission. Now you can get a touring version of this with a manual transmission on the Gen 2s, so again they alleviated that issue from the first launch ones. We'll talk about now why I felt like this is the Goldilocks zone I was saying, because a lot of the collectors will want to get their hands on the 997 Gen 1 and Gen 2 GT3 Club Sports now in the RS models, mainly because that was the last of the Mezger engines. Price-wise, they are now par with these, almost more expensive, which for my eyes is quite a lot of money you're paying, but that's what Porsches do, they hold their value, the collectible ones go up in value. Have a check on our website as well, because we've currently got a Gen 1 997, only 6,000 kilometers on the clock, we're selling that for 599. We'll have a look at that afterwards. The next step after this, because people are saying, why are you doing a review on the GT3 991 when it's four or five years old now? Well, because the new 992, I'm not gonna say this is a better car, but for price point, uh, you know, not everyone's got a million dirhams to spend. At the moment, because of supply and demand issues on the 992s, it's very hard to get your hands on them. It's an almost an 18 month waiting list and the ones that are on the market available are massively inflated. So you'll be paying two, 300,000 dirhams more to get something of this spec and level in a 992. Engine wise as well, they both share a very similar four litre flat six engine and power wise. So in the 992 GT3, the main difference is it's got individual throttle bodies which is more akin to like what the cup car is. They run the individual throttle bodies, and what you really get from that is a lot more low down response, a little bit more power, and the intake noise is unbeatable with the 992 G3, I won't deny that. But on the 991, where it wins noise-wise I'm talking about, is the exhaust note. So on the 992s, there's too much involvement from EU regulations, and that exhaust has got a few fillers in there that quietens it down a bit. So when you're talking about the note, these sound a bit better. Maybe it's my personal opinion, but the 991 Gen 2 from factory with the sports exhaust mode on, it sounds perfect. Personally though, the seven speed PDK is great, but mainly because it suits Dubai, it suits the long driving that we've got, the motorways, the stuck in traffic, and when you need to just drop a gear, it's so rapid, nothing's better than a Porsche gearbox. The PDK is suited so well to the 4 litre as well, and it screams all the way up to 9,000 RPM. You know, you've got the foot down, you're changing gear, and you're like, right, should I change now? Nope, nope, nope you've still got another 2,000 RPM to go there. If I was back home, I'd probably want the manual. You'd want that in the country roads in Scotland to fly around and have a bit more driver feedback and get involved with it. But as it is for what I'm talking about, it's suited for this country. If this is a car you need to daily drive, take it to the track, and you're gonna be quicker than the guys in the manuals if you can properly drive, because it is slightly more responsive. So if you're in the market for a GT3 just now, the 991 Gen 2 is the most attainable one with the best value for value money and you can still get extended warranties on it. But if you're purely driver focused with money as no object, come down and check out our 997 Gen 1 Club Sport with only 6.5k on the clock. This thing's a masterpiece and for the true drivers. But if you're more sensible, check out this one. So thanks for watching the video. We'll be back next month for another review, probably the M2 you can see behind me. So like and subscribe, stay in touch with Army Motors, and we'll keep bringing the cool videos to you.